In this video, I will cover how to use Power BI in analyzing our Superstore data. Okay, so let's begin. So I went ahead and signed in already. I already signed into the BDI network um, and I opened up Power BI and in the, within the BDI network. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the X here and I'm gonna click import data from Excel. And it does take a second to connect throughout the network. So we're gonna give it a moment or two here. Okay, great. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on desktop, business analytics course content, A504. And I'm gonna select here, I'm gonna do all files. And here is our Superstore Excel workbook. So I'm gonna open up workbook here. Load data. It does take, again, it does take a second or two to load. So let's have some patience here. Okay, great. So now we can begin our visual, building our visualizations. And, and in this particular exercise, we're gonna build two more visualizations. And I already built a few the first time here. And I'm gonna add in a first one here. Lots of charts to choose from. Let's go ahead and let's add an align chart. So I'm gonna click here. And it puts a line chart template, if you would, onto my page. And I can drag here and I'll drag here to side here to make it a little larger. So this just takes up more of the page in one little corner. <clears throat> okay, so continue. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on based upon our instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and click on adding an access. So my x-axis will be order date. I'm gonna drag and drop over here. And notice what it does here. It, it actually gives you some different variations of order date. So I'm just gonna focus on month. So I'm gonna click off the quarter, click off day, and I'm just gonna have in month, okay? Now it also wants us for our values. How do we want to, um, what's our y-axis? Basically, what do we wanna do with our values? So I'm gonna click on product name, and I'm gonna drag and drop over your values. Let's see here. And there we go. So now I'm doing the count of product name by the month. Okay. And notice here when I drag the mouse over each month, it gives me a count. Okay. So let's let's do a couple more things here. If you look at the um, search, and it gives me the name here, count of product name by month. That's cool. So if I drag the <coughs> search, um, class here, the magnified class that you hover over is there's analytics, click on that, and I can actually add in some different kind of a lines. I'm going to add in an average line for now. And it puts a blue dot a lot on here. It gives me the average, overall average, so I could see per month, a good visualization per month right away how I did on average. And there's other ones I could add a min line, a max line, a constant line here so I can actually put a value if I wanted to here. Um, if I want to put the value, let's say of, uh, we'll try 600. Put the line there and I can actually change the color if I want to make it a uh, orange color. So that actually shows me a, a, a constant line. So I can add different kind of lines here to my visualization, okay? So again, um, I added the product name in month, okay? Now, I wanna show you something else. I can also, see, if you look here, I can click here, I'm click on fields here. And actually, I'm gonna do, go ahead and click on filters up here. And I can go ahead and add filters to this page. And, okay, so watch this. I'll go through here. And remember when we did our analysis in Excel, our visualizations in Excel using the pivot tables and the charts and whatnot, I was really interested in a specific category and subcategory. So I'm gonna first of all, I'm gonna go here and click on category and drag and drop this field in the filter on all pages. Okay. And I'm also gonna scroll down here with all the fields I have to select from. I'm gonna click on subcategory and I'm gonna drag and drop it over here. So as we do a subcategory and a category 
filter through. And we'll come back to this in a minute. Let's add our other visualization mode. We'll kind of see how that works, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit, click the plus here to add a new page. All right, we're gonna do a what's called a <coughs> column chart. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my page here. There it goes, okay, great. Then I'm gonna make it a larger visualization here so they get the whole page. Um, I'm gonna use the same fields I used before. I'm gonna say order date as my access. And I'm gonna go um, click off of here, click off a of quarter. And I'm gonna click off, sorry about that. I'm gonna click off year, click off quarter, click off day, and I got month. And again, I'm gonna add in a, what's my y-axis, my values again, I'm gonna do product name. Again, it gives me a visualization of a counter product name by month as a, as a bar chart, okay? Notice here when I mouse over, this number says 1408. I'm gonna go back to page one just to validate. 14.08, great. And let's see here if I go here, and I get a nice visualization here. Now watch this. So remember over here, I just added in these filters here. I have category and subcategories and filter here. I actually do it this way. So I have category and subcategory. And I'll click the collapse expand button here, collapse expand. Um, let's me let's be collapse or expand. Look at all the different um, categories I have to select from. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Bridget. And notice quickly the, the visualization changed, okay? So if I mouse over here, look at my visuals. Look at December now, it's 328. Remember when we looked at it a few minutes ago, it was a lot larger. Remember, it's 1408. <clears throat> now it's 328. Go back to page one, same thing, 328. Okay, great. Now, let's, let's just stick on page one for a minute here. I'm going to click on my collapse expand button. I'm going to click on subcategory and collapse, expand this. And I'm going to look at chairs just for fun. I'm going to click chairs. And notice here what happened. Notice here what happened. My visualizations changed, okay? Notice the, you know, the x-axis stayed the same, but the y-axis changed. And look at the values here and why it's showing me over here, the 600 I still have selected as a, as a, as a visualization, believe it or not, as a, as a um, analytics number. So that's why the scale goes up to 600. It does give me an average here, the average change. Okay, because again, I'm looking at a particular category furniture and a particular subcategory, which is chairs, okay? Um, I can also do this. Let's go back to page two. Again, the visualization here, the numbers have changed. It goes from zero to a little over 100. So let's go back. Remember when we start with December? Let's look at December now. Let's look at our count in December now. So we we'll go over here because now it's 101. So what it's telling us is that we we so we went and sold 101 of that product name of, of a category of furniture and a subcategory of chairs. Let's see here what we we did select all. So now I'm looking at all the furniture again back to our 328. I'm going to go here and expand the category here. Of, of our all our practice and select all we should go back to our 1408. So again, notice here the dynamics that can change out different types of um, uh, 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 of filters. If you want, I can add different filters as well. I can add a state filter, for example, or region or whatnot. Um, but notice what it does here. Okay, it changes the values here as well. All right. So I can actually do the page. Let's do a quick page. I'm going to click page and new page because I'm interested too, just for fun. We got a column chart here. There we go. And we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to, again, I'm going to do this time for my x axis. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do state. And I'm going to, again, same thing product name. I'm going to use as my value. A little messy because it's showing all the states. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. So hmm, let's do this. Let's go here and add a visualization to this page. Let's do region this time. 
because there's some, I don't know, all page, we're looking to drag and drop region down here. So now I had a region on here. So now I got, let's look at our filters now. I have here, I have region. I have, Region. I still have the category and the subcategory filters as well. So I can go region and let's do the east, let's do central region. Okay, great. And now I'm going to go ahead and see, I'm going to go ahead now and let's look at category of furniture. Now, so again, the numbers change, the bars change, and obviously the values here change here for my y-axis. And then I'm going to click subcategory, and I'm going to select this for fun. I'm going to select chairs. And there we go. So now look what I got here. I got here Texas. 61, Illinois, 38, Michigan, 21. Then I'll go back here. Is this a number? I can actually see the sales again for my particular furniture. So I can click December. Let's see if this worked or not. I'm just looking at December here. Um, but you can definitely see here the different types of filtering you can do and how dynamic the charts are as you do filtering too as well. So um, again, different charts here, a line chart and I did two bar charts, okay? Just to kind of show you some different variations of some of the charts in Power BI as well as I, I like to show these filters here and, and how quickly the dynamics of the filters work as far as uh, you know, selecting data, looking at different data you know, again, I did region, category, subcategory, okay? And that will conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching.